What's up, you guys? It's Haley, and welcome to another episode of Who's in My Bathroom. Today, we have yet another interesting food situation that I will talk about in a couple seconds. Today, I have another very, very special guest, the lovely Marseille Martin. The crowd is wild today. Hi! Hi, thank you for coming. Thank you for having Welcome me. Welcome to my bathroom. Uh, yes, thank you. The wonderful setting, for so, sure. <laughs> I love food, yeah. and I always try to incorporate food on who's in my bathroom. So I guess <laughs> I thought cupcakes was the vibe, I don't know. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 16. You're 16, wow. I'm so impressed by you. I'm so Thank impressed you. by everything that you do. Appreciate it. We are just going to pick our cupcakes, start decorating, and just talk. Okay, just cool. Hang. That. I'm gonna actually try to make a cupcake that is like my dog. <laughs> okay, you got an inspo. Oh, my. Yeah, I oh have my. an inspo. His name's Oscar. He's here, I'll bring him in later, but. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Do whatever you wanna do. So tell me a bit about you, how you got your start in the industry, when did you decide you wanted to act, when you wanted to get into producing? It kind of all started when I was five. Wow. That's really when I started like acting and doing commercials and all of that, but my mom would tell you like I've been acting ever since I was like, just came straight out the womb basically. <laughs> I used to mimic a whole bunch of different films and like, like films you wouldn't really expect. Uh, a newborn to know, basically. Like which movies? The Ray Charles biopic. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. I used to know like every single like line to that. Wow. And then also Dreamgirls is still one of my favorite films. And oh, yeah. we had a, a big family meeting. Basically, my parents were talking to uh, now an eight-year-old. Like, what do you want to do? Because we can <laughs> move to LA, but this is like, this should be something that you really want to do. And of course, that's a big deal for uh, for a nine-year-old to, you know, understand. Yeah, that's a crazy big decision to make. Yeah. At any age, by the way. Yeah, so the first year of moving to LA, I booked 15 national commercials, Blackish, and I pitched uh, Little. In your first year of living there? Yeah, I mean, it was it was just meant to be, I guess. That yeah. is crazy impressive. Yeah. You I don't are... know what I did here while I am not, I'm not good at multitasking. This is the Haley Cupcake, which is my dog, Asuka. Oscar. It's so cute. The little tongue is that's adorable. I love it. I love it. This is uh, the Marseille cupcake, the, the Mari cupcake. Um, yes. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know what I was doing we're here. We're just having fun here. Yeah, we're just like, having fun. We just gonna wing it. I have to bring Oscar in here later so you can see what he looks like and tell me if you think I I made it similar to him. So before we eat them, I do have one funny twist that I wanna get into, mm -hmm. and that is we blindfold ourselves and we try to recreate the cupcake blindfolded. Oh my. <laughs> and see how close we can get the second time around. I mean, mine's a little bit wild, so I don't think it would be that hard to recreate. This is a good look. I don't remember where anything on this table is. Okay, so anyways, so you're 16, are you still in school? Yes, I am still in school. Are you homeschooled, I'm assuming? Yes, I am. I've I been was homeschool. homeschooled all of high school. Really? Oh yeah, well I yeah. guess same here. I don't, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if we're getting into it, hold on. Is this even the chocolate cupcake I even picked out? Mm-mm. Oh, 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 oh! Okay. Oh my gosh. That one's pink, isn't it? Uh, okay, I'm trying to really focus and still ask you questions and do this, but I'm like fo really focused on this. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough for sure. Okay, there's no way I'm recreating my Oscar cupcake, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> I can't even find the day cupcake. It's so impressive that you are legitimately the youngest producer in history, period. How did you react when you found out that you hold that record? It's pretty surreal to be in a space where, like, you know you're just like a regular teenager at heart, but doing all these things that inspire so many people is crazy to me. When I found out, it was pretty it was pretty casual because my parents were like, you just made history. I'm like, wait, what? Little just came out and there were so many things going on all at once, so that was kind of just like the icing on the cake. The icing on the cupcake. Uh, icing on the cupcake, no Literally. pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> 
So when did you actually decide to start your own production company? Because you're only 16. Yeah. So that's crazy to me. That was, I guess, two years ago. And after I created a theatrical film like that, I was just like, I can do more of this? Like, what? Mm -hmm. Also, it's not really just me. It's like my, my whole entire family. I like to call it a, um, a family business, because it is. Oh, what? Okay. Time's up. <laughs> I'm scared to take my I know I did. Uh-uh. I know I did not do good. I, at the end there, I kind of just said, oh my God, blue? These ain't even the colors I did. I thought I did better than this. <laughs> I got the stars in there. Okay, you didn't get yours all over. Look at my plate. Oh my gosh. Man, it's a, it's a totally different dog. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Oski, and this is, I don't know what this is. Mm -mm. This is something else, but cheers. Cheers. What do you see yourself doing, you know, in the next couple years, specifically? Mm. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully just, self-care is everything to me, so hopefully just happy and I don't push myself too hard. And that's the main thing for me too, is like making sure I have time for family and friends and all that stuff, so. You're so mature for your age because I feel like someone at 16 to have the depth to be able to know that that's important to you and that's what you want. Thank you. I read somewhere that you said in on the projects that you work on, you have a no black pain rule. Yeah, basically just not the main focus being black trauma. Yeah. Of course, we have to know our history and our background, but it's just like, I would like to see um, black relationships, like black um, rom-coms or um, superheroes, or just something where we're not in the space of black trauma all the time, because that's not the only thing that we are. I want to create stuff that makes me feel good, that makes me happy, and things that I always wanted to see. You want to see more of a range. Is, I, I want to see more of a I range, yeah. yeah. I think that's incredible. I and mean, you know, it's 2021, so I, it's crazy that we're still lacking um, in this world. But you have you know, the ability to change that stuff. So I think that's incredible. Thank you. Do you have a driver's license yet? No. My goal is to have a driver's license before the year is over. That's that's my goal. I try to at least get behind the wheel. I want to say once a week, but I don't even do it once a week. Mom, how is she at driving? She's, she's actually, I would let her drive me around the neighborhood. Not the <gasps> Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. And and that's not bad too because we're like we live on hills too, so that's not bad and it's a little scary. So that that's that's a compliment. Thank you. Yeah. But, my mom would have not said that about me when I first started to drive. She'd have been like, absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> Only yeah. in the driveway. <laughs> With my schoolwork, I don't I don't know. I don't know at all. Honestly, it's I know. it's. <sighs> It's, it's a lot. I'm just grateful to have a teacher that is very flexible with my work. He knows how busy I am most of the time. I was no. a mess with school when I was in high school. I moved out when I was 17, and my mom was like, okay, but you have to like take your school work with you. And I was like, oh. okay, <laughs> I take it with me. And then I just didn't, I didn't finish school. Really? Yeah, I didn't graduate, which is like, I hate saying it because it's something that I like really regret and I wish I had done. And I swear I'm gonna go back and finish <laughs> as an adult, like mm -hmm. I really want to. Given this conversation mm -hmm. and our history with school, I thought it would be funny if we did our own version of who's in my bathroom SAT quiz. <laughs> oh. So here's how it's gonna go. You're gonna have a test, I'm gonna have a test. I'm gonna have your answers and you're gonna have mine. Okay. The categories are world history and US government, geography, math, English and spelling, and science. Do you wanna go first or you want me to go first? Um, no, you go first. Okay, I'm gonna choose a science. <clears throat> what is the age of the sun? A, 500 million years. B, 10.2 billion years. C, 4.6 billion years, or D, 1 billion years. Wow, I genuinely do not know. I think that it's B. No. <laughs> okay, my turn. Oh, geez, okay. Pick your category. History. The main responsibility of the executive branch is to A, do whatever the president says, 
B, make laws, C, enforce laws, or D, oversee the Supreme Court? I'm gonna say D. That was incorrect. Oh my god. <laughs> so sorry. What a bad start. What is it? That was a hard question though. It was C. Dang it! 6S plus 4 equals 40. Oh no. What is the value of X? A, 9, B, 11, C, 6, D, 5. Hold on, I gotta think for one thing. The answer is six. I know that's right. Oh my goodness! You know what? Good job, good job. What organelle is considered the powerhouse of the cell? A, the chromosomes, B, the lysosomes, C, the nucleus, or D, the mitochondria? Mitochondria? You are okay. correct! How many bones are there in the human body? Body yaddy. A, 132, B, 89, C, 206, or D, 220? Uh, it's 206. Okay, yeah, you're correct. <laughs> I actually knew that because I actually, I know I didn't finish school, but I am like a health freak. Like I love learning about okay. medicine and the body and mm -hmm. all that. So I would have yeah. been very pissed at myself if I got that wrong. <laughs> In what country can you visit Machu Picchu? A, Peru. B, Mexico, C, Chile, or D, Costa Rica? Ooh. I'm just gonna think about what Machu Picchu kind of sounds like it connects with. Peru, Oh, and Peru go to Machu Picchu. You know what I'm saying? Like it connects. Is it right? Okay. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so now we're tied. Mm -hmm. Next round, winner takes it all. So what will be your category? I feel really good in the science, so I'm gonna okay. stay in the science. Which of these elements is a noble gas? A, carbon, B, hydrogen, C, boron, or D, neon? My final answer is A. No? Oh, damn, what was it? It's, it's D, neon, it's no. neon. How many oceans are there in the world? A, five, B, six, C, nine, or D, 10? Oh, I don't think that's 10. I don't think so. The world is big, but I don't think it's that big. Maybe five or six. I'm gonna say five. That is correct. Yes! yes! Oh, damn it! <laughs> it turns out the one that's still in school. <gasps> Woo! Yeah, we're so like, okay, I'm in my bathroom as 18. Yes! It makes me wanna like, oh, us, <gasps> So this is my Cupcake Inspiration Oscar. He's come to congratulate you. I won. She won, Oscar. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hi. She passed her SATs and I didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Marseille, for being here. Thank you for being on this episode of Who's in My Bathroom. I loved having you. I hope you had fun. Yes, thank you so much for having Congrats me. Congrats on the SAT. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. I feel confident now. I'll be like, yes. Good. So, we'll see you next time on Who's in My Bathroom. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for Oski. Is this white? <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, no. These You're lying. Great. No, it is. It's your gray. That's chocolate, you ass. <laughs> Do you know what Mary Kate and Ashley movies are? Uh oh. The Olsen, tw <laughs> the Olsen twins? Oh, I do know the Olsen twins, but they have So films? they're Mary Kate and Ashley, and when they were when they were kids, they made like all these TV shows and movies. The Olsen twins were like different characters in all these different movies, and they were like my favorite, favorite things growing up. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I didn't know that. Okay. I don't know if you know this about me, but I was actually almost a scientist. Oh my. <clears throat> really? What stopped you? It was the high school, not finishing the high school oh, thing. Oh, okay, okay. It was the, it was the dropping out mm. thing.